This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Heidi McNeely back in the studio with me. You are with the WAC program, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Yes. Uh, you've been here many times before, pre-COVID in the studio. You yes. You joined us a few times by Zoom uh, and kept us up to date with what's going on with the Big Brothers, Big Sisters program. And I've got Jewel Knuff with us, your first timer here at FYI. Welcome. It won't be Hi. your only time, I'm sure. No. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the, the WAC program here in Sniff Falls, too. So lots going on, lots of changes lots of announcements that's yes. pretty cool yeah but let's talk about you Heidi you've okay. been with Big Brothers Big Sisters for a long time we're worn yes. many hats yes so it was um, five years in September we started the WAC youth program in October of 2017 I started out as a facilitator and moved up to program coordinator and then a volunteer coordinator and now I'm the program supervisor at the agency and overseeing all the programs that we run and we're really excited to be able to get our programs up and running kind of, you know, like post pandemic and able to get back in the schools. And we have some exciting news about WAC that we wanted to share today. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting, too. And you started out as a placement student with the social service worker program. Yes. When did you do that? Um, so I started in May of 2022 and I went through till August and then I um, got a job with Big Brothers Big Sisters quickly after and became the WAC um, program coordinator. Excellent, excellent. And well, yeah. you must have been a good student. You must have been a good student. <laughs> she was. Yes, she definitely was. <laughs> so let's talk about, a little bit about the program first. Yeah. And uh, then we'll tell the folks your good news. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. So our program is a program that's run Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, we are open for youth ages 11 through 18. We provide after-school snacks, sometimes some dinner things. Um, there's lots of physical activity, crafts, um, many different things we have going on. We have video games, we have TV, um, we go bowling, we do many different things with the youth. A number of different partners come in yeah. and, and provide that extra mentoring, you know, in different aspects. Um, we had a guest speaker come yesterday from Queer Connections of Lanark County and uh, just different things like that. So yeah. Yeah. I think our police department has been there a few times in yeah. the past. Yeah, yeah. We've had people from Rito uh, Health Services come in and do some cooking with them, the Table Community Food Center. Yeah, it's great. And I love the physical activity part of it because most of them have been sitting in school all day. They need some movement. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Dodgeball is our favorite thing. Is it really? Oh my gosh. Dodgeball. Yeah. They like when I come and play with them. <laughs> <laughs> a little competitive, yes. I'm a little yeah, competitive. Yeah, she drove in with her kayak where I uh, got her, <laughs> her vehicle. Yeah, I saw you that. got it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So your WAC program right now is being held where? Uh, right now it's at the Youth Arena. Um, in the hall upstairs and that's where we have been for five years. The town has been so gracious as to let us use that space um, for five years and so that's been, it's been great. All right. Yeah. All right. So do you want to tell the folks where you're going or your announcement? So we're currently um, working on moving to a new space. The address of the new space is... 25 Main Street West. Yes. Yes. Um, it's huge. It's amazing. Um, we were. Mm, don't need the space. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's going to be your own space. Yes, yeah. it will be our own space. So we've been sharing the space above the youth arena um, because they still do rentals and and whatnot, and that's great. And I, you know, at one point, like they were doing pickleball ups there and whatnot, and. And it's been great, but you know, just the, the having to pack up at the end of program and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, it'd be nice to, to set up and have more of that youth center vibe. Um, so yeah. That's, that's a lot of work at the end of the day, having to pack, well, starting too, you have to unpack things and get everything ready, but I've now you don't have to do that. Exactly. I've seen Jewel do it. She Walk can do it really fast. She's yeah. very efficient with it, but I'm sure it'll be really nice not to have to do that anymore. Yeah, just and just have a homey feel when yes. the kids come in as opposed to, um, a more industrial feeling, yeah. you know, have furniture and nice decorations, their crafts up on the walls and just... It's your own space. Exactly. It's like coming home. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So yeah. let's talk about the program uh, itself too. How many uh, participants are in it? So right now we have about 50 participants. In the month of October, we actually had 26 new participants come to program. Um, we did a movie night. 
So we handed out uh, tickets to our current participants and we told them to invite a friend. So they came for hot chocolate bombs, um, a Halloween movie, uh, popcorn hands, um, and we just watched a Halloween movie. Oh, and root beer floats, of course. And we all <laughs> enjoyed each other's company. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm even thinking, you know, logistically where you are now, your new space, uh, you're going to be downtown, it's so much closer for, for people to walk from schools and everything too, instead of going all the way to the youth arena. It's yeah. about an eight minute uh, closer, eight minutes closer to the schools and to this area. It's so Absolutely. much more centrally school. located. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I know we had done a survey, an anonymous survey a couple of years ago, right before the pandemic, and the number one reason why kids were not coming to the program was the distance. So hopefully this will really resolve that issue. I, I like the idea of bring a friend. You know, that's yeah. how you yeah. get the word out and everything. Like exactly. Too, so. Yeah. So you're in your new location, and uh, I, I like the fact that you're providing some food for some kids too. Yeah. That's you know. Lots of healthy snacks. We have. Sometimes we even have dinner, um, but there's always so much food. So yeah. much food. All it's right. really important for us. Yeah. So you must be very creative. I am. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and because you think of some great things, kids keep wanting to come back. Yep. You know, it's not just the same old, same She's old. She's made candles with them and um, what was that? Uh, soap. Or soap. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, Many it was really cool. Things. That's really awesome. That's yeah. really awesome. So uh, I, I'm just thinking in terms of like computers and stuff like that. Can do you have computers there? So or? we have so five tablets. A, okay. Yeah, um, they're accessible for the youth to use. They can use them for social or they can use them for school. Um, but yeah, we have five tablets for them. We have Excellent. a TV. I mean, technology is so important to children right now too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and sure. we're always um, looking for more things if anyone ever wanted <laughs> to donate anything. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, in terms of them doing homework and everything, I'm sure you must have to help out with... Uh, maybe some tutoring or something you know just to help them get through some classes and everything is that yeah so some participants do ask for homework support um it's usually in math yes which i i like math so oh, it, it's well, good, good. Oh yeah my yeah <laughs> gold with this one <laughs> yes we did wow that's awesome that's awesome so to learn more about your program how, can people just show up how, how do you do that so we have a registration um we usually ask uh, everyone to fill out the registration form so there's one online or you can come get a physical paper copy sometimes if a participant comes and they don't have the form with them the first time that's okay but we do give them the form and make sure that they get it filled out for the next time they come um, but yeah for the most part anyone from 11 to 18 is welcome perfect yeah perfect. it's a very yeah. welcoming program they oh, can I'm find sure. the online registration on the big brothers big sisters page mm -hmm. um, and then we also have a WAC youth program Facebook and Instagram page as well where mm -hmm. they can kind of keep up to date as to our activities and whatnot that we have going on and we have a, a new old executive director yes. yes we welcomed back Jennifer Miller this month and we're so excited to have her back it's she was the one who hired me in 2017 so you know it was really nice to to welcome Welcome her back in through the doors. All right. All yeah. right. I, well, I welcome you guys to come back. We were doing a lot of COVID uh, interviews by uh, Zoom yes. here, so I'm yeah. going to have to have uh, Jennifer come in. I'll have to have you come back. Yes. Maybe bring some of the the kids from the program too. That would be that cool. Would be awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We can talk about the program. Too. I really. I just want to emphasize to you how grateful we have been to the town of Smith Falls for providing us with the space for this mm -hmm. long, and and to CareBridge for providing us the opportunity to move into the new space. Um, you know, and and Lanark County. Um, and who else do I have written down? Yak, yes. <laughs> Youth Center, Realtors Who Care, and a special shout out to Cindy Rivington and Ian Miller just for everything they've done to help make this program possible so that we can serve the youth in the community. It takes a village. It, it really does. does. It yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we live in a great community too. Yes, so we do. It's, uh, it's wonderful to hear stories like this. So. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thank you for coming here and sharing some more stories about our uh, WAC youth. And that's We Are Kids. Yes. That's what that stands for. <laughs> yeah. And Yak, you said, is... Yeah, so that's the Youth Center in Perth. in Perth. Yes, I think they're the Youth Action Committee. Okay. I believe. Okay, that's right, too. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I knew they were the Perth, uh, yeah. the Perth group. Yeah, so. yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, I thank you very much for coming here. You, I know you, you'll be back. You'll be back, too, Absolutely. for sure. So, uh, once again, I've got Jewel Knuff with us and Heidi McNeely, both from uh, the WAC program here in, 
in Smith Falls, and it's part of the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We've just touched the surface on what Big Brothers Big Sisters. Does we here really, too, yes, so absolutely. We have to come back <laughs> for sure. Thanks, mm -hmm. Kathy. Thanks, Thank for you. Us.